Good morning students. Now I am going to teach you strain gauge. Strain gauge is an example of a resistive transducer. Strain gauge. A strain gauge is an example of a passive transducer that uses the variation in electrical resistance in wires to sense the strain produced by a force on the wires. Let us now draw the diagram of a tensile force. If a metal conductor is stretched or compressed, its resistance changes on account of the fact that both length and diameter of the conductor changes. Okay. Let us now, I will draw the diagram of an, uh, a tensile force and uh, we, will uh, we will see the its uh, parameters. Okay. So this is force acting upon this direction and this is the length L and this one is the diameter D. So tensile force this one and uh, to take another one. Just like this. It's length is L that means I am showing here a uh, a change in diameter and a change in length. How it would be? Like this. So this is force and this one is a change in length. Then. Okay. Now we have a, a derivation of a strain gauge. Let L be the length of the conductor. A be the area of cross section. D be the diameter of the gauge before being strained. The material of the wire has a resistivity. Let us take a tensile stress called as denotion or notation as S. We apply to the wire. This produces a positive strain causing the length to increase. And area to decrease as shown in the figure. Thus, when the wire is strained, the dimensions are also changes. I repeat this word. Thus, when the wire is strained, the dimensions are also changes. Now, let us take a, a change in the dimensions. Let del L be the change in length. Del A be the change in area. And del B be the change in the diameter and del R be the change in the resistance. Now, let us have resistance of unstrained gauge is given by the expression let R is equal to rho L by A. Okay. So, let this be your first equation. Let this be your first equation. Okay. Now, differentiate the above expression, the first e expression, okay, with respect to stress. So, differentiate this expression with respect to stress. Now, the equation becomes dr by ds is equal to rho by a dou l by dou s. Next, rho l by, you take the parameters each one by one. So, rho L by A square. Now, I am taking this A as a uh, variable quantity and now it becomes, if you differentiate this A with respect to S, then it becomes uh, do 1 by A square into do A by do S. That's it. Very simple. The differentiation only it is this one. You need to differentiate the above equation with respect to stress. That's it. Okay. So, taking one each one by one parameter as a variable quantity. Now, let this be your second equation. Now, divide the equation to, divide equation to throughout, okay, by R is equal to rho L by A. Now, what you have to do? So, first step is R is equal to rho L by A. Second step is this one. Okay. Differentiate this expression with respect to stress. Now what you have to do is 
differentiate this entire equation by r. Okay, now your left hand side becomes 1 by r dr by ds. One minute, I will change my sketch. Then next one is, so rho by a do l by do s divided by rho l by a. Then rho l by a square do a by do s by rho l by a. Then l by a do rho by do s by rho l by a. Okay, so if you cancel out this term, you uh, um, do the simplification of this rho L by A, rho by A cancel, then here rho L, rho L, 1A, 1A gets cancelled, then L by A, L by A gets cancelled, then the equation becomes 1 by R dr by ds is equal to 1 by L do L by do s minus 1 by A do A by do s plus 1 by rho, do rho by do s. Now, it is clear all of you. Let this be your third equation. Okay. So, very simple derivation only this one. Okay. So, after this, if you if you see here, in this expression, you are getting a, a per unit uh, cha change in length, per unit change in area and per unit change in the resistivity. See, this do l by l is called as, okay. So, do or del we can say. So, del L by L is called as per unit change in length. Del A by A is called as per unit change in area. And del rho by rho is called as per unit change in the resistivity. Now, under strained condition, the cross-sectional area of the conductor changes. So, the diameter of the conductor also changes. Okay. So, now, let us take for in this aspect, let us take area A. Okay. A is equal to what? 5 by 4 D square. Now, differentiate this area also with respect to uh, S strain. Okay. Then, do A by do S is equal to. So, if you differentiate this, then it will become 2 pi by 4 D into do D by do S. Okay. So, now you have to divide the above equation by your area. That means. So, you have to differentiate, sorry, you have to divide the above equation. Divide the above equation by area A. That means this one. Okay, that means this area A. Okay, so therefore, this equation becomes, this differential equation becomes 1 by A, do A by do S is equal to 2 by 4, okay, divided by, 5 by 4, okay, here is d and here is d square, do d by do s. Now, 5 by 4, 5 by 4 will get cancelled, d d will get cancelled. Then finally, the equation becomes, one minute, yeah, finally, the equation becomes 1 by a, do a by do s is equal to 2 by d do d by do s. Okay. Now, so this is your 1 by a do a by do s. We, we, are, we have seen this somewhere, right? Where we have seen this? We have seen this uh, uh, one term, this term in your third equation. You, you see here 1 by a do a by do s. So, for this only, we are doing all these steps. Okay. Now, substitute this in the third equation. Okay, so substitute the above a third equation. Am I clear all of you? Now, if you substitute this in this third equation, then the equation becomes 1 by r dr by ds is equal to 1 by l do l by do s minus 2 by d do d by do s plus 1 by rho do rho by do s. Let this be your fourth equation. Okay. <coughs> now, so this is your fourth equation. Now, now again we have to um, um, reduce the equation. Uh, that means here we have to take an important point that is called as the Poisson's ratio. Okay. Now let us take the Poisson's ratio. 
So, let mu is called as Poisson's ratio. So, what is meant by Poisson's ratio? As you all know, the Poisson's ratio is given by the definition, the ratio between the lateral strain, lateral strain by longitudinal strain, okay? The ratio between the lateral strain by longitudinal strain is called as the Poisson's ratio. Now, therefore, mu is equal to minus, okay, dou d by d divided by dou l by l. That means lateral strain by longitudinal strain, okay. That is called as the Poisson's ratio. So, now, uh, from this you get what is dou d by dou d, okay, what is dou d by d. So, from this dou d by d is equal to minus mu dou l by l. Am I clear all of you? Now, what you have to do is substitute this dou d by dou d, okay, dou d by d in your fourth equation. That is why we are, we are doing all these things, okay. So, now substitute this dou d by d in your fourth equation. Now, your fourth equation becomes 1 by r dr by ds is equal to 1 by l dou l by dou s then minus, minus into minus will become water, plus, okay. So, plus 2 mu into water, what is the answer? 2 mu into, yes, dou L by dou S, then plus 1 by rho into dou rho by dou S. Is it clear all of you? Okay, so now once again I will repeat the equation, that is the equation is, 1 by R, dr by ds is equal to, 1 by L, dou L by dou S is equal dou L by dou S plus 2 mu dou L by dou S plus 1 by rho dou, dou rho by dou S. Now, the entire equation is with respect to water, with respect to strain. So, therefore, okay, so for, for small variations, we can change the above equation. Okay, so the above equation can be rewritten as, how we can rewrite re this equation? Very simple. Del R by R is equal to del L by L plus 2 mu into what? 2 mu into del L by L. Yes, we can write, right? Okay, so 2 mu into del L by L. Okay, because I missed one L here, right? Okay, sorry. Okay, so 2 mu into del L by L. Okay, so del L by L, then plus del rho by rho, right? So, this equation, finally we got the expression, is nothing but the gauge factor. Okay, so why we are deriving all this is, okay, in order to find out the gauge factor of the strain gauge. Okay, so we are going to find out the gauge factor. Now, what is gauge factor? Okay, I clearly explained the definition. So, gauge factor is defined as the ratio of, okay, the ratio of, no doubt, the gauge factor is defined as the ratio per unit change in resistance to per unit change in length. That means, per unit change in resistance to per unit change in length, okay. So, this is called as gauge factor, okay, this is called as the gauge factor. So, now we can say del R by R is equal to GF into del L by L. Okay. Uh, then del R by R is equal to GF into sigma. This sigma is called as strain. This is called as strain. Is given by del L by L. Okay. So, now we can rewrite this fifth equation. Then it, this becomes the gauge factor. Okay. This becomes the gauge. Okay. So, that means, so how we can uh, um, uh, um, find out this means, divide the fifth equation, divide fifth equation by del L by L, you will get the gauge factor final answer. So, if you divide the entire equation by del L by L, then G is equal to, so here del R by R by del L by L is nothing but G, okay. Del L by L by del L by L is 1. So, 1 plus 2 mu by L, 2 mu into this one, del L by L by del L by L, that means 2 mu, okay. Now, this becomes 
del rho by rho by del L by L. Okay. So, we can neglect this term, the third term because this third term is called a strain and it, uh, um, it has a value of 1 micrometer only, micro strain per meter only. So, we can neglect this value when the application is uh, like a piezo resistive application. Okay, if the piezo resistive application means then we can neglect this value because it is a very negligible value only 1 micro strain per meter only. So, therefore, finally, gauge factor G is equal to 1 plus 2 mu. So, this is the final derivation of the gauge factor G is equal to 1 plus 2 mu. That's all. Once again, I will recollect everything within a one minute. Okay. So, let us take an example of, uh, let us take a diagram of like this. Okay. So, length L and D is the diameter and it is a change in, uh, if the change in values is, is uh, becoming means, then the diagram will be as like this. Let, let us take the following notations. Let L be the length, area be A be the area and D be the diameter. And if the change in values will occur means, then the notations are del L, del A, del D and del R. Now, let us take a resistivity of the ungauged uh, strain, you know, ungauged one. So, of R is equal to rho L by A. Like this be the first equation. Now, differentiate this equation with respect to stress. Then, the, become, the equation becomes as like this. Then, divide the second equation by R is equal to rho L by A. So, if you divide entire equation by R is equal to rho L by A, that means rho L by A, then the equation becomes as like this. Okay. So, I, um, I simplified as like this and uh, shown as the third equation. Okay. Now, in this equation, this del L by L, this del A by A and this del rho by rho is called as the change in length, change in area and change in resistivity. Now, this uh, uh, area will also an important factor, okay, in the uh, strain. So, therefore, let A is equal to 5 by 4 d square, differentiate this equation and divide this equation by A, okay, then you will get a water. So, this one, 1 by A dou A by dou S. Now, you substitute this in your third equation, then the uh, equation will be like this, okay. So, in this, we are having dou D by dou D, dou D by D, this also we need to find out. What is this dou D by D? So, for this, I am taking Poisson's ratio. According to Poisson's ratio, we know that the ratio between the lateral strain by longitudinal strain is what? Poisson's ratio. Okay. Now, substitute this dou D by D. Okay. And in this equation, then, then it, it will become GF. It will become as the equation as like this. Now, the gauge factor is equal to, now, this one, this is your final answer. Okay, now you divide this equation by del L by L, then the finally G is equal to this thing. We can neglect this third term, the finally you got G is equal to 1 plus 2 mu. That's all. Thank you.